You're watching Eyewitness News at 10. We start with a troubling story centered around a cemetery in South Charlotte. Several families are now suing the owner of York Memorial Park Cemetery because they say they cannot find where their loved ones are buried. Only on 9 Channel 9's Glenn Counts is walking us through this lawsuit. Attorneys are hoping it's going to lead people to where their loved ones are. He's live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse in Uptown Forest tonight, Glenn. Well, Madison, uh, attorneys have been wrestling with this cemetery for years, but they finally caught a break when some former employees stepped forward and decided to share what they know. Henry Lewis Wallace went on a reign of terror back during the early 90s. The serial killer took the lives of 10 women, including Vanessa Mack. Mack was buried at York Memorial Park Cemetery back in 1994. I'm like, how do you lose a dead person? What you mean you don't know where one they said we don't know where she is. Jacqueline Allison is Vanessa Mack's sister and is one of the people who is suing York Memorial, claiming her body has been misplaced. I actually would like to know where my sister is. Attorney Pam Hunter has been wrestling with the cemetery for years for various clients, but today her legal team filed a lawsuit. Through the years, we always knew that there were problems at the cemetery. And um, about a year to two years ago, we received information from former employees. Kay Morrison Sanders worked there for almost 10 years. I was forced to lie for these families. I was forced to say we know where this body is. I was there when they put the wrong headstone on an empty grave. Morrison Sanders says she's sorry about the past, but she is also a victim. Her mother is buried here, and she says they never found her grave. My mother passed when I was 12, back in 1969. Of course, I was too small to remember. One of the most disturbing aspects of the lawsuit comes from the former employees. They accused the cemetery of stacking bodies, including babies. The suit claims the cemetery was, quote, burying babies on top of each other over a period of years to the extent that an area of the cemetery is commonly referred to among workers as the Hill of Babies. The hardest part is uh, I don't have a place to go to mourn. Oh, God. I pray that no one else has to go through this because like right now, it's like reliving that tragedy all over again. Now we reached out to York Memorial Park to see if they had any reaction to the lawsuit. At this point, we have not heard back. Reporting live from the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, Glenn Counts, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Yeah, you can just hear the disbelief and confusion from those families. Glenn, thank you.